Hi everybody. I just, I want to do a couple more things to this ad. I know, um, um, marking, um, the students work, I'm noticing a, a, a pattern of kind of some things that I really want to um, bring to everyone's attention. So the main things that I'm finding when I'm marking, um, that the ads are lacking are alignment, hierarchy, uh, and then call to actions. And so I really want to touch on those and talk about those a little bit more deeply. So you guys have seen this ad and I've placed this text kind of where it is here. Um, it's not aligned. Actually, this text is not aligned to anything in particular. Um, and then, but I do have the, um, the copy and the logo aligned to the margins. Now we can play with, um, um, alignment in lots of different ways. I've placed this headline, kind of just placed it so that pressing W um, just kind of sandwiched between the hoop and the ball. But we can play with alignment in lots of different ways. So uh, some kind of um, structural kind of norms are, say for instance, this player was centered in the page, then a likely um, um, thing to do would then to also center the paragraph and then center that using the align window, line that to the page. Now remember, if you don't have these windows open, they're all available here under window menu, and the align one specifically is under objects and layout. This is a very, very, very important um, window to have open and to use all the time. I never not align anything just by my eye. So if I do that, and then I want to, the better, the best thing to do would to also align the paragraph, the copy, sorry, and then align that to the, um, the page as well. Now, obviously I can't see it. So if I move it up a bit, um, if I change, say the width of the text box, that might make it a bit um, bigger. Um, and then, you know, we don't have little things like single words at the bottom of the, so always just make sure that you're aligning to either to the page or the margin. Now, um, hierarchy now, just to kind of touch on hierarchy. So if I had this headline, say the same width as this copy frame, I would probably make this um, much bigger. So we have hierarchy is the contrast or the kind of the, the difference in sizes between elements on the page. So this headline, if I make it say, 44 point and now it's obviously pressing W again it's much bigger than the copy so that there is now I've created some hierarchy so if I move these all just kind of up a little bit then it kind of gets placed a little bit better in that space so that's kind of what I would do in terms of creating that nice center alignment now I can do that with the the logo as well I can just center on the page obviously that's harder to see that text that black text over his pants, but it's not totally unreadable. Um, so that when you have this kind of centering, it's always kind of good to keep that centering kind of consistent. We don't have elements all over the page for whatever reason, you know, say for instance, this, um, his body was over here. Um, I can still have the, all of the text centered, but I wouldn't now like say for instance, have this kind of I'm gonna left align these again. I wouldn't just have this kind of like here and then this one kind of just here. Um, you know, you can kind of see that I'm kind of fitting this, but I would still kind of create the best thing to do would kind of still create a structure. So for instance, if I wanted to fit this headline kind of in between the hoop and the ball and this um, below the ball and the logo, I would probably, for me, I would probably do this right aligned within the paragraph and then align this to the margin and then do the same for the copy and then align that to the margin and then I can align the logo to the margin as well so now pressing W again I have this structure this kind of let me make this a bit something more like that you know I personally would pull this closer to the cop um, the headline something like that oops now I see students all the time do this where the logo is massive. To me, that doesn't have good hierarchy. So hierarchy, again, we have this kind of, what do I see first? Headline. Then what do I see second? The copy. And then, but you know, now we have this massive logo so that it breaks the hierarchy pattern. So I want to see headlines big, copy smaller, and then the logo 
kind of fitting. Oops. I'm holding down the shift command and then resizing it. Holding down the shift command, resizing it so that it resizes the frame and the image. If I don't do that at the same time, I'm going to have to always press W. I'm going to have to always fit it. And then I have to make sure that that, um, oops, pressing tab and W to close down the windows and the closing down tab to close down the windows and W to close down the, um, the guides. Now I don't have all of the image visible now in that frame. So after I fit it proportionally, I have to now then fit the frame to the content, but only after I fit it proportionally. So now there's some hierarchy, right? I have some text that's big, the copy that's a bit smaller, and now there's kind of a proportionality with the logo. Now, I can, if I had a different image in here, let me find my images again. Uh, where am I here? Um, let's see. Do I have them here? No. Where did I get rid of them? I'll just get, I can get another one completely. Um, yeah, let's use this one because it's a much busier background. So I have this image of this. Let's zoom out a little bit. So I have this kid in here. I might want to now get it so you can see the kid behind him. I can see the full, um, his full arm. Now this image obviously has a watermark. We're just going to pretend it's not there. Um, but I still need to make the, um, the logo and the text readable. I still need to fit it. I still need to organize it. I can see also I have a spelling mistake here. It's child with a apostrophe S. Um, Okay, so, you know, the text actually over him is not such a big deal. It doesn't really bother me. This text I find harder to read. But, you know, there's some things I can do here. I can still align, align this to the margin. Um, um, I could also stack this so that there's one word on top of each other. And then I could if I do it like that. I would then put my cursor in there and press enter. Um, you know, I might then kind of play with having the, these different sizes. So the word play doesn't have to be the same size as the other text. Um, I could also play with uh, making these a lighter font, making them even smaller, making the, the letting even tighter. Um, I could play with maybe white isn't ideal. I could try just making it black and see if that's um, appropriate. So pressing, I just press down, sorry, I just press W to tab and W, W to get rid of the margins, tab to get rid of the windows. Um, so I'm now creating some more hierarchy. So if that maybe gets down now, this, now I'm going to resize this, um, frame to be the same width as the headline frame. Um, maybe I want to make this also, um, oh yes, watches. Now, if, I, if I'm highlighting it, it's automatically in the swatches um, panel or window. It's going to choose the type um, um, color. But if I don't want to highlight it so I can see what color I'm choosing without highlighting, because it's highlighted, I can't see it, you can always, in your swatches window, just click on that little T for type, and it will change the color without highlighting it. Um, you know, maybe it's that lightweight font is not is not readable enough. Maybe I need to make it. Um, a little bit bolder. Um, maybe I can even make it smaller. You know, 12 point is totally fine. Um, so, you know, if maybe this all goes down even here. Now, I know that that watermark's there, but we're, again, we're just going to pretend it's not. Um, but, you know, maybe it's all kind of up there. Now, this in this case, I think the logo works nicely there. Um, another thing that I'm seeing um, in um, students' work is that obviously um, they often have the, the URL below the logo. I always like to see call to actions within the copy. I know I didn't write the copy here, but I'm just going to um, actually, if I can just copy and paste. So, we want to show the, the benefits of. Um, um, the company. So uh, I'm just going to, I'm not going to get it actually really quickly. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to write a little bit more coffee here. So free to, 
to play helps your kid feel like a kid again. We work with schools, community groups, and parents to help get kids out. Actually, let's get kids get help make sure that oh, I can't spell right now. Sure, all Canadian kids have the freedom to be active outdoors. Sign up. So get, incorporate this call to action into the copy. Now sign up. Oh no, no, find uh, local events near you at free to play. What was it? Dot org. Okay, so that call to action now is incorporated into the copy. Now you can make this stand out any more, every, and more if you want. I mean, uh, maybe this is a different color now. Maybe this is white. Sorry, my kid just came into the room. Um, you know, maybe this is not bold but I don't have a, this font I don't have a lot of weights with this font if I chose something else let me just get Arial actually no not Arial um something that I know I have a lot more anyways I'm not going to go into that too much right now but if I oh maybe Futura a few more weights ah no I don't have a bunch of weights there <laughs> um you know and then change this to Futura as well oops what did I do Oh, right, it's going to be too big. Anyways, I'm just trying to use one serif font and one serif sans, or one serif font and not two. Actually, I like that better. Um, okay, so play with fonts. I think I can stack that if I want. Um, okay, so incorporate that call to action into the copy. It's always ideal. Now, I'm going to show you something really tricky right now. I'm going to flip this, press the W to kind of see. And then if then if I had this image flip, so I just use, I'll do that again. It's just here, flip horizontally. And then I'm going to change the orientation of that copy and that copy so that they're both left aligned. Oops, can I grab that right here? Not right aligned. And then I can select both of those and go align, align to margins. Oops, am I doing it? Am I selecting them? Okay, that might be better for this, and it's fine to have that logo there as well now. So I think that works a lot better for this ad. Now, again, so use the margins, align objects on the page using that align window, or oh, I'm gonna run out of battery, or then if they're centered, oh, it's first you need to center them within the paragraph, center them, and then center align them on the page. But then if we do that, I'm doing this wrong. Center and center on the page, and then now center also the logo. Now that means that he probably needs to go more over here, and then you don't see his baseball, which isn't ideal. So I think backing up Control Z for this image that works a lot better. So headlines, big, catch our attention, make that hierarchy apparent copy that explains the emotional impact what the company does call to action within the actual copy cop, uh, copy use that align window to align objects well first align paragraphs either left right or centered um, these three buttons here are the ones that you're going to be using use that align window to align elements to um, margins or the page selection I'll show you what that means so if I had these not aligned to um, uh, what's happening here now? If I had, say, I wasn't using the margins to align the objects to, and but I wanted still objects to be aligned, say, to each other. I'm just going to decrease this. Oops, I'm aligned the wrong one. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. I'm just trying to decrease the size of this frame so it's not getting in my way. So, um, so align to margins. Align to page, align to each other. So I'm going to select both of these objects, align to each other, and then left align them. 
okay? So those are the kind of the three things that we, we do. Um, so that's fine as well if you can, but just make sure that you're using some type of alignment within this align window. So hierarchy, alignment, um, you know, copy that explains the emotional impact and what the company does, a call to action that is incorporated into the copy. So much more interesting, so much more kind of um, what we see in typical advertisement.